Hello there folks, my name is Ben and welcome to Shots Fired Airsoft and today we've got a little overview of the AAP-01 which is a sort of G17 based pistol made by Action Army as you can see there now in shape it kind of uh, mainly looks like a Ruger Mark IV um, but as you would tell by the magazine it comes with this is very sort of Glock friendly Apologies for the more sort of informal camera setup today, but I've left my tripod elsewhere, so I'm doing this a bit off the hand. Now, when this came out, there was an awful lot of hype surrounding it. Now, a lot of people reckoning it was the second coming of Gun Jesus, but that came with an asterisk. Um, it is a very unique and very impressive piece for the price. It pretty much runs G17 style internals, but obviously with a di di difference because the only part that moves is this rear piece here. So that's your slide, so to speak. But you will see it has a very familiar trigger with the internal trigger lock. Um, a very familiar handle and very familiar magazine slide, uh, uh, sorry, slide locks which is ambidextrous on this which is nice now when this came out there was an awful lot of talk uh, of it being a sniper pistol and I can attest that this will lift 0.3s quite happily um, however mine somewhat lacks the FPS to do so um, a lot of people come out saying that this would run you know, 330 FPS on green grass. Uh, from my experience, that simply isn't true. Um, it doesn't really matter what mag I use it with either. So, here's a little sheet you get from Action Army that comes with your weapon. And you'll clearly see there that we have an average muzzle speed of 0.81 joules on a 0.2. You see, that's what it was tested with at the top there. Now, this means that the gun realistically does 0 0.77, 0 0.79, 0 0.81. I, I'm not calling people who say it does 330 FPS a liar, but I'm just saying that their gun might be an outlier because this wasn't considered a lemon by Action Army. Um, they sent it out with this test and that was also at 27 degrees Celsius. So we're talking about very favorable conditions. By the time you get it to the UK, eh, you're not looking at such a hot amount. Another thing you get with an Action Army AAP-01 is a very well produced manual and this is the kind of manual that you'd love to see in all airsoft pistols. Obviously it is multi-language but you get clear bold pictures, clear bold font, and very good explanations of how things work including how to adjust the hop, set auto and all that sort of stuff. It really is quite an impressive manual. So what are the other advantages of the AAP-01? Well, if you'll see over here, I have three magazines. And we have the magazine from a Raven, as you'll see on the bottom there. We have a WE Extended Glock 17 mag. And we have a bit of a weird one that most people won't have. This is a Vulcan AVP-17 mag, which is, I believe, is HFC OEM. And even though this has a curved gas router, and the AAP-01 is a flat gas router, all of these magazines work faultlessly in this. They will fire, lock back, obviously have varying FPSs as with any magazine. But that really is... Uh, neither here nor there. They are fantastically compatible with most G17 magazines, if not all of them, from what I've experienced. So I've got a bit of firing footage for you of the um, AAP-01, and as you can see, it's hitting around that sort of 270 FPS mark, which is what we're expecting. It's what it says on in the box, um, although the hop is actually set for 0.25s in this. So that could be taking a few FPS off, but 290 maybe. Um, and then I've also got some firing footage of it for you. And again, 
we're not setting the world light at 50 meters however it will hit the target every time there's no wild hops um, and everything just just kind of works and then just to finish off we've got some full auto fire which is a feature of the pistol that is fantastic and really makes it a useful sniper sidearm you have the ability to you know, send decent shots at decent range but also if you get backed into a corner and there's four people moving in on you at a fairly close distance you can flip it to full auto and take them out the only problem with uh, flipping to full auto is that the actual switch or lever to do so is this under here and this is extremely difficult to push particularly in a hurry oh god there we go got it yeah so that's your switch between auto and semi-auto uh, not ideal in this particular case and just to have a look at the frame uh, what we have here is very plastic uh, the metal that is in there is extremely light we have a nasty hammer um, again we are looking at a cheap pistol so uh, I'm not really uh, one of the uh, this is going to rule the world kind of pistol people that think the AAP one is the be all and end all uh, that's your safety just there so obviously that's unsafe and then when you put it on fire you get a nice little red um, portion to come out to show you that it's clearly on fire so where that nasty hammer comes into effect is it has exactly the same problem as cheaper G17s where there is a big notch where the gun cycles um, this is one of the things you get on G17s because of the way the hammer assembly works and unfortunately this AAP01 does not survive that particular flaw but it doesn't really affect things overall but it's just slightly annoying and it also must slow down the rate of fire so it's just to look at some more features of the AAP01 we've got a uh, plastic 40mm negative thread on the end of the barrel which is hidden by this uh, protector as to whether this is a good idea or not being a plastic thread I'm not really sure however it's taken all of my attachments over the time that I've used it and never really been an issue I have seen some people complain it gets messed up but I think you just have to be careful putting it on and then we have fibre optic sights uh, front and rear, they are faux, obviously, being a, a cheap pistol, but what do you expect? They're faux and some very more, a lot more expensive weapons as well. And then this generally is your top slide, or what will be the top slide. Uh, there's a button on the back of the receiver that you press, sorry, the pistol grip, and then this will hinge forward and off. And in here we have some quite different internals to what you'd normally see in a gas blowback pistol but one of the things I would like to draw your attention to is here um, there is a lot of wear forming on this and this is probably about 500 shots in so how long one of these will keep working for I don't really know again this is one of the other drawbacks of the AAP01 it is a cheap 75 to 85 pound pistol um, so we're not expecting it to last forever or set the world alight what it is is a different and very interesting weapon so that's been my overall kind of look and uh, I guess sort of review of the AAP01 it is a fantastic sidearm for the money and if you are a sniper and you want something with more features and the ability to go full auto over your more sort of like standard high capper or um, you yeah, know especially 1911 pistols then it is a good bet and for the money no one should really be complaining about this but is it the best thing ever well no i understand why people are excited about it because it's different and because it's cheap you know they're not asking you 250 quid for a plastic pistol but because it's cheap there are limitations as to a how long it's going to last um, and b its functionality in terms of firing so that's it, so either like, dislike, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do and coming up shortly I have a review of the 
and um, well, unboxing and review of the VSR10 by Simer. So stay tuned for that. Thanks, folks.